I did it over and over and over and over and over. Because when you tell the same story over and over and over and over, it becomes even bigger. Because you start to remember details. You start to remember the pain. Welcome to another episode of Another Mindset Master. I'm your host, Carla Rajo. You know, AZ asked me to do this, and I have to tell you, I have to really write my script, but I promise I speak from the heart. But the reason of the, the script, you know, I just don't want to throw anybody off. I don't even want to throw myself off because when I'm told to do something, I'm just like, bam, I just go at it, and I speak from my heart, and it just, it throws everything off, and my passion gets into it. And, you know, I can just basically just leave people out there and they're like, what just happened? What just happened right now? <laughs> so I, I, I wrote, you know, notes and I want to make sure I stick to these notes because there's so much that's going to be said. The last time I did this for AZ was in 2007, 2017. It was in 2017, but I'm here because I chose to be here. You know, he asked me without question. I said, yes, all right, let's do it. You know, but most importantly, I know what AZ has done for this brokerage. And I have to keep this going um, and consistent on, on his behalf because, you know, there, there are moments that AZ um, has not done this. And in the last time, again, it was 2017 that he has not been present. So um, I haven't, um, haven't spoken to AZ since, um, Saturday or Sunday when he left um, and so I won't speak to him for another four days he is out um, in somewhere very silently and um, doing his um, deep prayers and, and doing something and uh, he's kind of out so I will not hear of AZ for another couple of days I know he's safe um, and I know um, and what he's doing is, is a good thing but I can't let this fall. So thank you all so much for joining me. Um, and yep, yeah, I am Carla Rajo. Um, so I wanna go in here, like I said, I'm gonna read everything that I've written um, in the last couple of days that I wanted to say to everybody because I wanna make sure I stay on point. I, don't wanna, I wanna make sure I don't throw anyone off, even myself, I wanna make sure I, I stay on subject. But again, the last time I held this was in 2017. That's how consistent AZ has been present um, doing his Mindset Mastery. And I'm, I'm super proud of him. And, and it's been great um, being alongside of him running this business. But again, it gets me every time. It gets me every time because I'm so passionate. But I am obedient. I'm obedient. Um, and let me explain about my obedience. It's not obedient to AZ. But seeing the reason he asked me in the obedience is why I'm obedient to him asking me to do this um, because I know, I know the obedient lies in my heart, it, it's, it's there and um, my heart tells me the truth and, and when I close my eyes and, and I'm like, why is he asking me this? I, I allowed my heart just to lead and, and told AZ immediately, all right, let's do the mindset mastery. Um, but if my mind would have led me to other, you know, thought process and emotions and feelings, I would have told AZ, I have other things to do, I really can't. I, I, can't, I can't do this. Um, I have a lot going on in Mindset Mastery is your thing, it's not mine. Um, but again, I am here and uh, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. I, I do wanna talk about the evil one that will hit you without notice. Um, and this is what I titled it, the evil one will hit you without notice. Because I am going to speak a little bit about AZ, um, but more so he invited me to be the guest, so there'll be a lot about myself being said. But you know, right now I just want to um, give thanks to AZ for everything he has brought into this brokerage. But there are those times that, um, you know, and, and again, I'm not asking, uh, obviously I'm, I'm a spiritual person, guys, um, and, and the Lord is just in my heart and, and you know, I, he's, he's in with me, he, he, he lives within me, I, I speak of him, I, I, I breathe, without him, I wouldn't be present. So again, f to the non-believers, I ask you to, to just respect my, with kindly respect my presence being on here and just listen with an open heart and just look at it as a different perspective. Don't look at it as I'm, I'm reading you Bible verses, don't look at it as I'm, as I'm bringing in the word of God, just look at it as a different perspective on how it can be relatable into your current situation or in your life. And that's all I ask, um, but yeah, I'm here and uh, I just ask kindly to respect my presence here. So again, you don't need to be a believer, but uh, we are talking about the evil one without notice. And so this can be relatable in any way you wanna bring it into your life. Um, and again, I will read a little bit of the Bible today, but it, it doesn't need to be you know, the book that you need to believe in. I just want you to know that, it, look at it as a motivational book. Look at it as something motivational that I'm bringing to the table in a different perspective. So open up your heart to me. And um, yeah, if you know me and you know me well, provide that respect for me as well. So I, I ask that respect. So, you know, how many times have you questioned yourself when you're asked to do something and have that gut wrenching feeling, you know? And it's just like that, that, that 
tightness in your gut and you're like, should I do it? And your heart knows where it should be. Your heart always says, yes, this is what you should do. But again, your, your gut wrenching feeling goes in there, that anxiety, that tightness, um, and it's questioning, you know, and, and I'm 40, 40 years old, guys, I, I'm 44. <laughs> People are always asking me, what, what is your age? And no one's really known. And, and just recently have I told everybody, I, I'm, I say bluntly, you know, I'm 44 years old. But I've been in business for over 20 years, guys, 20 years. Um, and it's that gut wrenching feeling never goes away as a business owner. It really doesn't. Um, like this moment, like this very moment right now. And it's completely normal. It's completely normal. But being obedient to someone besides me is why I do what I do. Because if I believed me in every waking moment, I wouldn't do the things that are required to do for my business, my health, my family. Um, so I have to believe in something greater than myself because I failed on myself many, many times. And if I would have stayed in this mindset of I'm not good enough and, and the failures and my past experiences and, and so much um, stories as kids, it's like we're attacked before by the evil, <laughs> evil ones before we are even born into this world. It's like piled in our, in our memories, in our mind, and it just bleeds into our hearts. So ignoring our heart it is so the norm to people and really believing that what you think is the truth of your story and thinking the things that, are, are, that you should be doing for your health and business will fail you every time. And, and I believe this, um, I just believe this to the bottom of my heart. I believe this. Um, I've always been a believer since I was a kid. I've just deeply went into it. Um, many years ago, I've always read the Bible and, and I knew that somebody in my heart was like leading me to something greater. And I, I went into the ministry school, I'm in it now. Um, I've done multiple things to invest in, in the position that I am, but it has never, it hasn't been easy. It has not, it definitely has not been easy in the 20 years um, that I've been in business. But I have to tell you, I have years and years of reps as a speaker, as a, you know, I've done women events, um, I've done podcasts, I still do. Um, and I, I, and the many things that I've done, you know, from being on stage for so many years, over 10 years, uh, my DTW program has been going strong for years. Um, you know, I'm not your typical trainer. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a coach. I'm a coach and that exposes her life, that I've exposed my life in all my events. And I've been called to, to do, you know, speak amongst thousands of men and, and putting my life out there. Um, you know, and it's, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a life. It's definitely been a journey. It's been a life. Um, and again, now, you know, the program started into like, you know, fitness program that just turned into something, it's just not pretty, it's not sugar-coated, turned into a Christian-based program. Now I give lectures, now I'm, now I'm owning Kingdom Christ, um, and that is attending, um, and now I'm attending the university to get my ministry. So, and you know, I can say stay tuned is the way I put it, stay tuned, because I don't know what is next. I'm not supposed to know what is next. I don't even question what is next. I just do the things that my heart tells me, and, but if I, follow what my mind and my brain and all of this and the voices that are coming at me, I wouldn't do it. I definitely wouldn't do it. I have to just go and, and, and you know, listen to my heart. And I've always have done that from the very beginning um, from, from, you know, I've been married for over 20 years and there's so many ugly moments I've gone through my marriage and, and this business. And it's just like, stay in it, stay in it, keep going, keep going. And I can't tell you that it's always been that sunshine that, that rises because for the most part, there's a lot of dark moments and, and I'm so blessed to be in those dark moments because in those dark moments of what I found, the, found the, the answers and the journey that I need to be on and it's been amazing, it's been amazing. But um, again, going back, you can see how I rant <laughs> and going into so much passion, right? But again, I do believe the obedience lies in the heart, I really do. Um, but if you listen to your mind, it's going to be no, because that's the first thing I want to tell AZ is no. I'm already overwhelmed with work. I got a lot going on, and, and I normally do my, you know, my school at 3, 4 in the morning and, and carry on my day until, I don't know, yesterday I went to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning. But it's, you know, I'm, I'm not complaining. I love every minute of it. It's, it's my purpose. It's my passion. It feeds me. It's like fuel to my heart. And, and, you know, the numerous amount of texts that I get and the messages that I get from my clients, um, you know, when I feel like I'm in a dark place and I'm like, why am I doing this? And it's not a question of, of questioning God on why I'm doing it. It's more like, why, why am I doing this? It's not like, like, I'm like, God, you know, and suddenly a text come in, a message comes in, coach, you've done this. And I'm like, yes. And this is what feeds me, you know, or the brokerage when I run into so many agents and I'm like, my business is driving. I'm like, yes, you know, and it's just 
so much that that comes into play with with the bad and, and it's just there's never really a bad moment to be honest with you there really isn't it's, it's our purpose that that we're here um and what we do what we do over the over so many years but again i've, I've had so many years of reps of, of a speaker and doing so many things but i still to this day get behind the camera and i'm just like ah you know this gut-wrenching feeling and since 2017, I haven't done one of these, and, and I have a feeling AZ asked me for a reason, and I know when, when I have that feeling, and this, and this can be something to you guys, that I ask you guys this question, like how many times have you questioned yourself when you're asked to do something and you have that gut-wrenching feeling? It's because you know something great is coming, and I know something great is coming and why AZ asked me to do this, and, and I don't know what it is, and I, again, I'm not supposed to ask, I'm just supposed to reply yes, because that's where my heart is, and be obedient to the word of God in my heart. It's just yes, okay. Something great is coming, I don't know, but I, I know that AZ is always giving me these, these things that he puts in front of me because he's preparing me for something great. And, it, and it's not just AZ, it's, it's I have to be obedient to God and, and understand that AZ is, is putting the light right in front of me, just shining on me for a reason. And, but I have to still believe, I still have to be in faith and, and be faithful. Um, and, and it's huge to me, it's huge to me because it, again, if I would believe in, 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 in and not something greater than that, it would be like, no, no. You know, I have a feeling I don't wanna do this, you know, I'm nervousness. It's like, man, I was, I was blessed with that gut-wrenching feeling because I know, I know the greatness that's in me and I, and I gotta shine the light on other people. So, you know, go, going back to this, you know, and I'm not saying this on all the great things I've done and what I'm currently doing and I don't know, stay tuned for what is next. Um, I'm not saying this to, 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 to you know, gloat or, 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 or I'm not saying this to, to show this proudness by any means, you know, and, and I read this and I, and I want you to, you know, and I'm going to read this to you because there's a reason why I just told you of all the great things I've done and the great things I'm doing now, because that, that's great that I'm doing all that, but, but I, I really want you to know what lied or, or what lies behind it or, or in front of it or in it right now. You know, I'm not saying this to show the many things I've I do, but to tell you that the voices in my head have never led me to believe what I'm currently doing or have accomplished in the past is true. Never. Because the truth, that light on my surface of, of, of my brain, of, of my mind, it's like, don't do it. Don't do it. But my heart was like, you have to do it. And I'm going to keep reading because I, I would have not done many of those things I spoke of, especially in the moments of shame and embarrassment to be exposed in the format that I have done. And it didn't start with people I know. It didn't. It completely started with the camera. It started with the camera, it started with the public. The camera like, that behind, it was like in front of me. I, I allowed the world to see my emotions and my feelings, my tears. I almost wanted to be judged because I knew in that moment I was gonna find strength. And, and so, when the first video I've ever made of myself was based on my anxiety and, and my depression. And when I put it out there and no one knew about it, my family and friends didn't even know about it. AZ had just found out about it and I've known him since I was 19 years old. And this is back in, I think in my late twenties, early thirties, I, 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 I'm not sure on my time frame, but I put the light and I put the camera in front of me. I put the camera in front of me and, and, you know, I bring fitness into the world of, of real estate and our brokerage for a reason because I believe when, when, you're, when your health is good and, and you're wanting more, it's like you find so much in that. You find so much when, when things are falling apart, like the last thing you're, you're thinking about is your health and things get worse. But when things are bad, you, you, you look towards your health, you have that and you know that you can do so much more when your health isn't good, if you're doing all the right things. And, and to me, there's so much power in strength training. There's so much power in, in, in fuel and the food we feed our bodies. And it's huge to me. And it's huge to me. You know, I, I've trained for so many years and, I, and I'm talking about hardcore training, you know, a body fat of like 4%. I mean, it's, it's in years I live like this. And in those moments, I, I, I pray to God, just keep me going, just keep me going. I don't know what the purpose of this is and I'm not going to ask you, just keep me going. You know, and in those moments, I found strength. I found strength I never had. And everything that I've ever done in my life, there has always been a purpose behind it. I can't, just can't sit there and let it be. I gotta find out why it entered my heart and for what am I doing this for? And, 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 I, and, and I'm not asking questions, but I'm looking to move forward on something great. 
it's like, you know, and I just believe, I, I just believe that this is my heart. So going back, I wanted the world, I wanted the world to judge me. I really did. And that's, an, that's, an, that's, an, that's, an, that's I really wanted the world to see the real Carla Rajo, the depressed Carla Rajo, the shameful Carla Rajo, the, the Carla Rajo that was insecure, the Carla Rajo that just had a hateful heart, the Carla Rajo that, that just didn't know, like, and she didn't know she was lost. And, and so people just saw the, the surface of Carla. That's how people knew me. They knew me in heels, they knew me in, in perfection, they knew me at least what I thought, you know, they, they knew me. They, they knew me just, just the surface of Carla. They didn't know the deep Carla. And in order to, to deliver at the level I'm delivering today, I had to bring out all those demons that I thought were true, that were leading me into destruction. So I had to destroy the Carla that existed in the eyes of people. So people were shocked. As a matter of fact, I lost so many people who thought they knew me. I was criticized and judged, and I, I, I could only tell you two that stayed in my life two that stayed in my life. There's two individuals that stayed in my life and I'll forever be grateful to them. And you two know who you are. And it's amazing because they stood by my side without any questions or anything said to me. But, and of course, AZ never left me. And of course, God never lost sight of me. God always kept me going. He was a reason, he was a purpose. And he put me on this earth with a voice, a powerful voice. He put me on this earth with, with intention, with and my body's just here. It's just a body on this earth. I, I want him to know that I was obedient to him, obedient. So the first people I ever told about my depression, my anxiety, my suicide attempts was the world, was the world. Not my loved ones, not my friends, but the world because I wanted to be judged to rise to a higher level. And, and I didn't just do it once. See, 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 see people get behind the camera and, and, and they say their message once or twice. I, I didn't just do it once. I did it over and over and over and over and over. Because when you tell the same story over and over and over and over, it becomes even bigger. Because you start to remember details. You start to remember the pain. And I didn't want to just say it to the people that I loved or the people that knew me. I wanted to say to complete strangers so they can look at me. I wanted the eyes on me because I knew then I was destroying myself and the demons and the stories I believed to be great. So I went searching for the Carla, the Carla that today no one even knows. Today, the Carla that stands in Kingdom Christ. And everyone thought Bible study. Little did they know what I was creating. Little did I know what I was creating. I just walked into a room. It went from one day to the next. Two, three in the morning, I was sitting reading my Bible, lit the candle. I said, how long am I gonna do this? I, I, I know God. How long are you going to do this until you rise up and speak of him? Now, I'm not trying to teach anyone the Bible because no one can teach you the Bible. You either you know or you don't. But even if you don't know, that's okay too. But if you have God in your, in your heart and in your mind, then something is calling you for greatness. So I'm not going into these studies and, and, and these lectures and, and teaching people the Bible by any means. What I'm telling people is how the Holy Spirit saved my soul and, 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 and how I'm obedient in the dark and why I do the things that I do when people are out for years I've asked, how do you do that? I, I don't know, I just do. Aren't you embarrassed? No, because the shame of, and, of judged and, and looked at and stared at and talked about is already there. And, and, and if I come, come up with something that I can't remember, I will bluntly say it out to the world. That's all I do because I know that that's not really me. It, it's just a story that I once believed that was true about me. But, but this is Carla and this is Carla and they'll forever fight against each other. But I'm so great now that, that 
she no longer exists in the power that, 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 that is in my heart. That, that this is so much greater. That, that the Carla will be here because there's memories piled up in our brains of, since, since the day we were born. But my heart is the one that leads to the next level. And I'm gonna keep reading. The haters, talkers, and people, they wait on the sidelines to see me fail, to see AZ fail, to see us fail. But I love them so much. I love them so much. More than they know, actually. More than they know. They were sent with a purpose for me. That without them, I would not, I would question. Without my haters, without people, without their, without questioning, without people just, just being in my ear and, and questioning me things that do not pertain to, to anything or, or that don't serve me. It's crazy. I just love them so much. I actually go searching for them. That's what's crazy. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Because without them, I would question if God is even listening to my prayers. I know those voices and stares and whispers have come as messengers. You'd be surprised, actually, because some of those people are here in this brokerage. Some of those people are here in this brokerage. They've been with us for, for quite some time and years, and, and I don't expect their support, nor do I expect anything from them. There is no expectation because I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing it for myself, and I'm doing it because the Holy Spirit is calling me to do it. Not for anybody but me. And when I held these Bible lectures, AZ said, I, to I told AZ, I'm going to tell you something because I need to let the demon out of, of what it's telling me. It went from one day to the next. I said, AZ, I got I to hold these, 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 uh, these lecture, or I, at the time I called them Bible studies, and I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And he said, he said, all right, this, all right let's do this. I got your back. I said, so does God. So, so we went into the one day, turned to the next, and within two days, I'm holding a Bible study. And then, I, and then the one thing I told AZ, I'm going to tell you something because I got I to let that voice out, the demon that Carla comes out, you know, the, 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 the doubtful and the, and the shameful and, and the fearful and all this Carla comes out. But the Carla over here is calling me for something great. I got to tell you, AZ, this Carla right here is thinking, what if nobody shows? AZ says something so powerful to me. He said, does it matter? Me and you will show up. Just me and you. That's all that matters. I said, okay. He said, I got your back. In that moment, I said, I know, God does too. Let's do this. So we put out that, you know, the Bible study that now turned into a lecture because I had no idea what was waiting for me in the training room here, our facility. So I go inside and it's all set up and I, and I just spoke from my heart. I went, bam. And I said, what did I just do? And this voice was a, this voice of calmness and, and certainty and power that I had within me. Because in that moment, I realized God has prepared me all these years for kingdom Christ. And I said, man. And then I went home and I, and I, and I just released it all like, what? It's just happening to me. And I felt this, this sense of power and the sense of like, what just happened to me? I said, oh, okay. One thing turned to the next. Within 24 hours, I was in Grand Canyon University. I said, I need to get into ministry. I don't know what's waiting for me. I have no idea what, what a year and a half and two years when I get my degree, I have no idea, but I could already vision myself walking down the aisle and be like, here, you didn't beat me, demon. And every time you want to doubt Carlin, pop in, I'm going to say, look at the wall. Don't you see my degree? I'm in ministry now. Come and attack me. See what's going to happen. And every voice out there that's trying to tell me you couldn't do it and you failed. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Did, 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 you, you obviously don't know who I am and who's got my back. God does. So I, I, I don't know where I'm going with this at all. I just know that something led me to believe something is just out there for me and something is out there for you. Something bigger than you think. But if you wake up every day and you're thinking and you're looking yourself in the mirror and you're thinking about your day and your day that needs to be done and all the, the compl and everything that, you know, your checkoff list and, and clients and this and that, you're, you're missing the whole point of your everyday life of, of moments. You're missing of moments. You're missing opportunities. You, you need to sit there, and, and I'm not saying sit there with the Bible at 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning like I do. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not telling you to sit there, but sit, sit there in that place of 
What is more than what I am looking at myself in the mirror? Because you looking at yourself in the mirror is really non-existence. It's, it's the surface of what you're looking at. But when you go into your heart, you're like, oh man, that's so painful. Are you sure I need to do that? Yeah, you do. Because your heart is calling you to be great. But if you're waking up every day, just brushing your teeth, putting on your makeup, putting on your, your suit and, and, and putting on your hat and heading off your way, you're missing out on something great that's waiting for you. Look beyond yourself because you cannot be trusted from the moment you wake up and the moment you look in yourself in the mirror because you're looking at the same person over and over and over with the same stories. But what is waiting for you? They're big steps. They're scary. I know. I've been in them. So go back to this. The evil one will hit you without notice. And that's you. The evil one is you. When you wake up in the morning, it's you. It's you built up with history, with stories that you believed when you're looking at yourself in the mirror. It's you. And that's not to say it's bad or good, but you must not be trusted. That's who's looking at yourself. It's, it's just you. That's why I called it this. The evil one will hit you without notice. And not to say that you're evil, but there's so many stories that are holding you back. That's why, I'm this, that's why the, the, my DTW program goes deeper than just a diet plan. It goes deeper than just your workout plan. It goes so deep to find out who you thought you were and the stories and destroying them to seeing something greater. That's why people go back to losing themselves. That's why people question why their business is where that's at. That's why people question their marriage. That's why people question themselves because you keep going back to the story and the story and the story. When you don't understand that in the, in the storm that you're sitting in, all it is is a transitioning to something great and you have to sit there and you have to dissect the stories, you have to dissect the pain, you have to embrace the pain because it's just a transitioning phase to something great. But because people feel the pain and people feel it, they start to question, should I get a second job? Should I, should I file for divorce? Should I file for this? Should I go on to a diet plan? Should, it's like, no, just sit there. Just sit there because you're in transitioning. You're going to something great but you have to sit there and feel the pain. You have to sit there and dissect the stories. You have to sit there and find out what is going on. Why do you keep going back to your old self? And, and this is a forever thing. This isn't just a one part of your life. It's a forever part of your life. Like, like, like people find the consistency in the workouts. People find the consistency in the routine that they got, you know, their health, their health, their health, but then you see them and I'm like, you're missing something. You don't have the power to know what fuel does to your mind, to your gut, to your body that will eventually bleed into your 50s and 60s and in blood pressure and, and, and diabetes and everything. You're like, how did I get here if I was doing every single thing possible to take care of my health? But weren't you really? Were you really? In the book of Job that I'm going through in my lectures, it states, I'm gonna come into this. I'm going in and I'm, I'm in my certain lectures every Tuesday, I go through the certain sections of the Bible on how it pertains to me and my life. And I'm very open, you know, I'm very open with my life, extremely open. And, and I try to be as much as possible. If, if I think of a moment in my life that I'm like, oh, I need to share this one. Um, you know, I bring it into my lectures. So it's not so much for the believers, you know, it's just for everyone. For everyone that, that the stories are relatable in their current lives, that's, what, that's why people are, are, are spreading the love. She's, she's not teaching the Bible, guys. They're spreading the love. It's not about the Word of God. It's about believing something greater than what you think. And then that, 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 that's all I'm doing. It's lecturing. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, going through, and, and, and this is in your typical Bible study, kumbaya moment. It, it's, a, it's a moment that I'm giving my life for a greater purpose, sharing my life in the light. Because I, 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 I want to make sure that the devil doesn't live in me. I want to make sure that Carla keeps digging and digging and digging 
until the day I die because I'll never arrive. There's so much piled up in me, man. I'm 44. And people go searching for that individual in their 50s and 60s. I've been searching for Carla since her 20s. And this is where I'm at right now. And people are like, how did you get there? I'm like, man, if I could only tell you, it's not pretty. It's going to be ugly. So I'm going through the book of Job in my lectures. And the messenger, and, and I can tell you, and I can sit here and tell you the book of Job, and, and time's going to run out, so I don't want to sit here too long, but the book of Job is basically, it's an amazing story, in the, and, and, and it's, it's for everyone. It, it's, it, it, and again, if you're not a believer, you can put that aside. Just know it's a, meta, it's a look at it as a motivational section in the book. That's all it is. And, and the Job is, is and, and, and the work of uh, Job, and I'm going to read just a little section. I, I don't want to get too much into it, but Job, is, they sent, he sends a messenger, a messenger comes to, to tell Job in, in moments of situations that come up, you know, from, from his house falling apart to his children dying, to losing his money, to losing his, his, his animals and his land. And he was a very rich man and very faithful to God. And, and here comes messengers to tell him every single time a bad situation comes. But it doesn't really state what kind of messengers. It just says the messengers. And so a message when, when situations come up to him. When, and, 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 and basically the messengers come to him because the evil one, the, the devil, want, want to put him into this panic mode, you know, panic mode and to lose faith, to lose faith and, and, and to believe in God. Like he just like, hey, look what has gone to God. If, if you were so faithful and God loves you so much, why did he take your home? Why did he kill your children? Why did he take your money? Why are you broke? And, and Job said, okay, it was just meant to happen. You know, there's so much in here. Job never won lost sight and faith in God. But there was messengers, and the whole point of the messengers, and, and the messengers weren't good or bad. And, and I'm not going to get into the, into the book of Job so much because it's, it's, I keep that with my lectures and, and, and the people that, that surround me with that love. But I just want to get into this really, really quick. But the messengers were not good or bad. They were just messengers. And... And, and, I, and I question myself or, or I question other people in, in the process and even myself, even myself in, on a daily basis. Like who's crossed your path today, just today or throughout the, the weekend or last week or, or this time that some of you guys are maybe going to a financial situation or you might, might be going through something in your marriage or, or something with your health. Who's crossed your path in, in, in believing that the consistency, or even, even, and I wrote this down because this is huge. This is huge. I, I wrote this down. Who's crossed your path today that has you believing that consistency of your social media is not working or your business is in question? That they come at us daily, even people close to us. So when we're out there and we're in, you know, even, even in the kingdom Christ, when I started doing my lectures, I had messengers come my way. There are people, there are people around me. There are people in this brokerage. There were my family. There were my staff members, my team members. What are you doing now? Bible studies? And then I had people asking me, you're in ministry school? Like, you got in Grand Canyon? I'm like, you didn't know, you know nothing about me. You know nothing about me. I'm a very educated, well, business, you know nothing about me. Now, now my, my response could have been, so I could belittle the individual, the messenger. But I want to get closer to God and and. and I, I said, God, I don't, I don't want to feel angry. They just don't know how much I love you. They just don't know. They just don't know what you've done for me, to me, because you knew, you knew deep down, you knew where I was about, you knew in the way I was going to deliver. So when people come and question messengers on what I'm doing, I hug them. I just hug them and I love them so much because they just don't know. And so I'm asking you, how many of those come across you? How many of you have just gotten recently your license and suddenly you're making these videos and your family and friends are like, what are you doing? <laughs> I didn't see you on social media before. What are you doing exposing your family? What are you doing exposing yourself? What are you doing? You don't know. How about those, those, uh, the, the, the veterans who've been doing this for a long time and then suddenly they're making these videos and here comes a younger generation and the younger generation is like questioning the veterans. You don't know what you're doing and the veterans question themselves. Like, what am I doing when this younger generation is coming in? I'm worn out. You have messengers. 
messengers constantly, constantly, and then and then messengers like you, you, you know, you're doing this this old school video. You're do, you're posting this. It doesn't make sense. No one's watching you, and then they're questioning you, but they just don't know. And so Job goes through this, many parts of his in, in this in this book. The messengers are constantly coming across and questioning, questioning, questioning him. But Job is like, back off. Just don't know. Because my faith is big in God. So as, as, I'm, as I'm going through this, I, and, I want, and, I want to, and I want to tell you this, and I'm, and I'm going I'm to put this out here. I'm going and and, uh, to put this out here, and, I, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get really deep um, in, my, in, my, in, my, in my Tuesday lecture, but I wanna, I'm going to share this with you guys really quickly. I tell AZ, you know, when, when he left to the, to the place he needed to leave and, and, and just check out. And um, as a matter of fact, it was, it was my idea. And I brought it in. I brought it up to him. And then because he did great things a couple of years back. And uh, when he checked out for about a week and I said, just, just go. And when he came back, he had clarity. He had, it, it, it's, it, it was incredible. It was incredible what he did when he got back. But I wasn't always the woman or the partner that believed in him. I, I wasn't. I wasn't. And, and, and now was my idea. I said, hey, yeah, I, I, got it. I, I need you to check out. I need you to go because you're doing great things. Opportunities are coming your way. And you too will have these messengers coming your way with questions and, and you're not going to have answers to, and you're going to doubt and you're going to second guess. And he's such a great man. And I'm like, get out of here, get out of here, check out. And with that question, he, he, he just said, okay, but, but I, but I do want to tell you, I, I always tell AZ, this is something that I, that, that I always tell AZ, don't ask me for approval but allow and, and your heart to just lead you and, and follow your heart, I told him. Who am I to approve your decision when you know you've been called for something great? I'm nobody. I'm just a messenger. And you are too. Sometimes we come in and we ask our, 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 our family, our, our spouse, like, what do you do when you know that they're meant for greatness? But, but we'll, we'll, we'll put in that little question. People do it to us all the time. And I tell Lizzie, don't, don't, if you know your heart is leading to something great, he's a great leader. Don't ever have me question you if you know where your heart is, because I too can become a messenger in your life. And, and I tell Lizzie, and I, and I speak of this so high, I just, the heart knows your intentions. It knows. Because in that place, in that heart, is this, where someone greater than yourself lives. And, and if, if you're not a believer, that's okay because my heart knows my intentions, my every move, because that's where God lives. God lives in my heart. And, and he doesn't li need to live in your heart. You can see however and whatever you believe, but believe in something greater than yourself. So I always tell AZ, don't, don't question when your heart is leading. Don't, don't, don't allow me to come in and question you. That's it. And, and him and I, bond on on such a spiritual level that 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 <laughs> for a little bit there I, I i started bonding more than him and i started seeing bigger things more than him and and that's when i and i i didn't want i want us to be on the same page that's why daisy get out of here get out of here and he said he got it because he was already thinking it because we're we're we're, we're, we're here for greatness we're, we're not here to 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 continue living the lives we were living yesterday or, or last year or last month. It's, it's like, what, what do you want us to do, God? And, and we're, we're different. We're different. And we're, in di we're, we're differently made by God. And, and we don't deliver the same message. And I'm not AZ. And AZ's not me, obviously. And we're, and we're not. And we have a different voice. We have a, a different tonality. tonality. We, have, we have a different way and we deliver our messages. And not, I'm not meant for everyone. AZ's not meant for everybody. It just... But together, together, we can deliver such a great message. Um, so enough, you know, the story. <laughs> and, and I just, I held him back of his growth for, for a long time in the very, very beginning of this brokerage, you know, and, and, and I, I didn't want him to build it. I didn't. Because that Carla came out many times as a messenger. Hey, guess what? This is going to happen. This was going to happen if you open up too large. This was going to happen. I was a messenger. And AZ knew 
what he wanted to build in Asian Associates. And he did. And I'm so glad and grateful that he said, I need to do this. He's just, he just, I, I'm just so happy. And I, went, and I want to read this to you really quick in Job 2.10. Because in this mess, in, in, in this section, you know, Job's wife comes and tells Job, why are you, why, why are you not basically, and it says in so many words, why are you not cussing or cursing or telling God off? Why aren't you telling them why? Why aren't you questioning God? And, 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 and that's what I did to AZ. I said, I said, like, AZ, all this is going to fall apart. Like, what do you, what are you praying for? What do you meditate? You know, and, and so... At that time, I was, I was searching for something greater myself, so I was fighting, and, and two Carlos were going at it. And so, and I was resistant. I told Daisy, why, you know? And, and we've been through this craziness, and this madness, and this financial mess, and you're putting us back in. And, and I was just like, bam, bam, bam. And it just reminded me of this, of this, of, of Job 2.10 when his wife tells him, why, Job, why, you know? And, and, and he says, this is what he says to her. But he said to her, you speak as one of the foolish women would speak. Shall we receive good from God? And shall we not receive evil? In all this Job, and did not sin. He did not sin with his lips. AZ's mission to build something great in this brokerage has served many people. He did it with purpose, with intentions. God knew where his heart was. I was that foolish woman for many, many years because I too was fighting for the relationship deeper with God. And, 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 and that's what people do every day. So it's not to say that the messengers are good or bad, but you don't know what they're going through. Their advice may not be the best advice for, for you. They don't know. You have to know. But if you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're thinking you know, you're just being deceitful, you're deceiving, you're lying because you don't, that's just the surface of what you think you know. Because the answers are in your heart. So the right people are going to come and, and give you a little boost that you need that your heart was already speaking from. You're like, that's what I need. But if your mind is somewhere else and it's looking and you're thinking and, and you're barely at the surface of your story that you haven't even got deep, the messenger's going to come and you're going to truly believe that that messenger is, and you're going to be in panic mode, in panic mode, trying to look for answers when you already know the answer to your question. It's in your heart. And that's why I say there's messengers that come across our way daily. I want to walk out that door of this podcast room and I guarantee someone's going to cross my way and tell me something that does not serve me. But I have a responsibility to be faithful to God, to know I'm in here for a purpose and a reason. They don't know. I know. And I will hug them and say, thank you. But they have no idea their comment on how it hit my brain because memories of my brain have been piled of years and years and years that I might take their comment completely different but I will now allow it to bleed in my heart because my heart is faithful and I know what needs to be done and I know what my mission is and my purpose in this life is messengers are going to come across you every single day every second keep your eyes open but don't allow it I always say protect your ears protect yourself because your heart your heart is the most precious thing because that's where the truth is. And for those, that's where God lies. That's where God is right there. Now let's keep going, because I, you know, I talked about enough about AZ. Let's, let's, let's talk a little bit about myself. You know, AZ always he has me as a host here. I'm almost done, I'm almost done, guys. You know, I'm gonna read the little bit section to you guys. I've been, I was obedient to the word of God, so let me explain this. The voices you, res you respond are the voices you surround yourself with. I'll forever in my life, as I stated, be in transition. The changes have not been easy, nor am I looking to, for them to be easy at all. My heart will stop the moment I find easy. I don't want to find easy. And I will know that then I have lost sense of my purpose. I'm obedient. Being obedient is getting to the places I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Sometimes I don't want to be there. But I know I have to be obedient because my heart leads. My emotions and thoughts are, 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 are lying. They're deceiving. I can't, I can't believe them. They will deceive me through my experiences and the voices I've heard. I'm not good enough. What are you doing? Taking AZ's place. Mindset mastery, blah, 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 blah. I, I, I could tell you what I'm going to hear. But the voices, they no longer do anything to me. I've been judged 
I've been doing this for 20, over 20 years, man. I have reps and bum reps and years and years of coaching men and women and on stage and you can't hurt me. You can't hurt me. My heart will not touch, will not be touched by voices. But it, but it is true, you know, we've created an environment at, at Asian Associates. We created a culture to, to, to allow yourself to be who you want to be, to go after what your heart desires in business, in your family, in your health. That's why when you step into the doors of AZ and Associates, AZ and I want to know more about you. Not to criticize and judge you, but to share our lives with you. And that is the shame, and that is the, everything that goes in it to tell you. And we, man, I got to tell you, I used to say this, I used to say this in the past. AZ, what's happening? P people will come into our doors and they find out about our lives, our marriage, our health, our financial, our this, and then they leave, and then they shoot us on the back with a, with a I feel like a missile or something. I'm like, bam! But I've never once fallen. And I'll never allow AZ to fall. I got his back. And so does God. But it, but it, but it blows my mind because I'm like, what we do is not easy. It's not just your typical brokerage when you walk into these doors. There's so much more. We worry about health. We worry about the mind. We worry about the soul. We worry about everything that comes. The, 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 the body that walks into AZ and Associates is just the body. We want to know more about you. We want, we want to know how we can help you through our lives, through our story. Do you know how hard that is? Do you know how shameful it is? Do you know at times how AZ and I go home and we take emotions with us? They don't belong to us. They don't belong to us. And we, and we do it over and over and over and over and over. We've done it for years. And we still create more that is involved, that is involved in being part of people's lives, but through us. Because we will put ourselves out in the light before we put anyone else out there or even tell you to make moves that we wouldn't do ourselves. I was asked a couple of years back, and I'm still asked to this day by some of the agents here at the brokerage. And as I, you know, what do I do and what my position is? And it's incredible when I'm asked, even it's some of those who have known me for years. You know, and, and it's, it's pretty neat when I get asked because back in the days I used to kind of, kind of get offended because I used to be like, well, <laughs> you don't know what I do, <laughs> but okay, you know, you know, okay. Like, you know, and, and I, used to, I, used to, I, used to, I used to take it in like, like, that's offensive. That's offensive. I know, I know you see me on the back end operation and, and I'm running it all, and, and, but, but you have no idea what I do. And, and it's pretty neat, but at the time I used to take it in offense because I did question even myself years ago. I used to question myself, why am I hiding in my office? Why am I hiding behind this computer? I can hire people to do certain things in certain areas that I do so because I knew deep down inside where my heart was, I, I needed to do so much more for this brokerage, for myself. And I, and, I, and I run things, I have my own business that I run. I run my own business that I started many years ago when this brokerage first started. I just didn't, I wasn't certain about it. I wasn't, I, I didn't stand my ground in it. So when people would ask me this question, it would be like, yeah, I guess that's all I do. And, 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 and I was losing my sense of purpose, you know? And I had to fight for that Carla. And, and, and I just, I, I wrote this, you know, re really quickly. I, I, I began to speak in my position and they all would, they would respond. I thought you just did paperwork and commission stuff. To this day, I get some responses like that. They just don't know. They just don't know. But if you listen closely to those voices, they'll become viewpoints, the opinions of people. The comments will plant seeds in your mind that, you do, not, that do not serve you. What you hear can enter your heart through planting seeds in your mind, and you'll be stuck in that story. So if I was listening to everybody that walked in my office, they just don't know. That asked me the most ridiculous questions but they're not ridiculous in their world because they just don't know. I also have the opportunity to not hear and allow them to go into my, in, into my ear and, 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 and hear it because they'll plant seeds in my brain that will bleed into my heart, but my heart knows what needs to be done and how I need to deliver and how I need to, to do the things to be great and, and deliver at a high level. But I don't allow these voices to plant seeds in my, in my brain. So I want you to know how many times have you come across on a daily basis they, 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 that people come in and, and they question you. They question, they question your business. They question everything about you. They question everything you do. 
You have, you have buyers out there, as soon as you tell them what you're going to make, they start to calculate the commission base. Like, oh, they're going to make this much. And then you're suddenly questioning your self-worth. And then you have, you have people out there who are wanting you to list their homes for free because what are you doing? Just putting a sign out in the front, in the front of the house. Then you start to question, well, what, 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 you know, your, your, your integrity. You start to question the vision. You start, you start questioning everything about yourself. They're, they're, they're seeds that are planted. What, what do you want? And what is it going to take to get there? How, 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 what is your sole purpose? What, what do you enjoy doing for other people? I, I'm a business owner, but I serve God. I serve the Lord in, in a unique way, in the way Carla Araujo serves. And, and there's a greater purpose. So I cannot allow people to plant seeds in my brain so I can start questioning my business, my marriage, my health. I, I just can't. My, the, the, do, do the work. I have people questioning, do the work. And, and, and now that I've had Kingdom Christ coming in, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you should hear the voices in that one. The negativity, the ugliness that's coming that way. But they have no idea who they're messing with. They're messing with Carlo Rajo. And when you got God in your heart and you see something greater, I'm untouchable. Oh, I'm so untouchable. But that doesn't stop the voices and the negativity and the ugliness that's going to come my way. And it has since the day I posted the first photo of holding Bible studies. I had 200 and something likes. And now because they're not invited, the public is not invited. This is just for my brokerage. The people here, my army, my culture here. Suddenly the likes started going down because they're not welcomed. I'm not ready for them yet. I just need to be surrounded by our people, by our army, by, by the culture here. I need to be supported and loved in which I, I, I am. But I can't allow people to plant seeds in my mind for them to grow in my heart because I'm keeping my heart safe. That's why I got into ministry because I don't, I, I, I don't want to know God just through here. I want to know so much more about God. I, I'm like, teach me what I don't know. Help me grow. And to truly be the child of God. Not just the surface of it coming out of my mouth. Not just by telling people. But I truly want to serve you in a way that makes me feel so uncomfortable by spreading your love. I want to serve you. Because you are the only father I know. And there's so many people that I hear. My dad has done great things. You know, I, I don't know the pain of abuse. I don't know the pain of physical abuse. I don't know the pain of mental abuse. I don't know where you're coming from, Carla. I don't know the pain of this. And, and they feel sorry for me. I'm, I, and I want to say to you, I feel sorry for me too, but I don't. I'm so grateful and thankful that so much ugliness had come to me since a child because it was all meant for me. I just had to understand that I had to live in faith and I'm still searching for God on a deeper level because I am doing things that so many people around me will not even step into. I truly, authentically, from my heart, want to be the child of God. Like you have no idea. Every waking, breathing moment, I want to be the child of God. Not just from the surface, from my heart. That's why I created Kingdom. Christ, not for you, not for the people out there, but the relationship is between me. And I've said it from the very beginning, since I've done so much in my life that I brought it to public, I'm doing it because the Holy Spirit led me to do it. You start to question your value, your work, all the time you've invested when those seeds get planted. They have no idea the sacrifices of your work, the endless nights of owning a business with not just your hands and your eyes that do the job, but your true self when you're obedient to God's work. It's not all the, the moments of just sun, you know, of, 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 of this wonderful, beautiful, planted part of your life. It, it's not. At least it wasn't for me. It never was. It never was. People see, people see the outside of, of maybe what I drive or, or wear or whatever. I, I don't know. But it's never been good. It's never been good to me because I didn't want it to be good. I, that's, not, that's, not, that's not what I, 
I want. I don't, I don't, I don't want it to be good, you know? And, and I, I wrote here, it, it's, it's, but many times a place of darkness. And in those moments, I've never asked questions, but always, always seeking for the purpose of his work in me. Holy Spirit provided the tools I needed to be in the current position I am today. Who's working with you? I'm asking you. Wholeheartedly, I'm asking you, right? Uh, uh, whoever is watching this, if you're out there listening, who is working with you? Those around you? Who are you believing in yourself to make moves? Because you, 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 you can't be trusted. You are telling you to make these massive moves. You are telling you to, to build greatness in your business. You are telling you you're going to be stuck in the same story year after year, year after year, year after year. We're not knowing that if you're in a current moment and you're going through craziness right now, maybe financial, business, family, it's, it's a transitioning phase that you must sit in to, to see more about yourself, to search, to search. And there's a lot of times that, that, that you have to sit there to search for something great. But if you quickly try to find a way out and just crawl your way out, God has his timing in my last two. And as a matter of fact, for me, it lasted 10 years in competing on stage to finally, finally had found out why I competed for so many years. It was a purpose behind it. It was incredible, but I could have been stuck in the same story trying to crawl myself out. But I had to sit there and I was like, why? And I, I didn't ask why in the sense of that. It was like, please provide me with the answer so I don't come out being the same. And I didn't because I was faithful in understanding that it was a transitioning phase for something great. My depression, my anxiety, all these things were done for me. They were done in me to see something great. Carla Rajo is not the same Carla Rajo you met even last week. I, I'm not. And it's okay. And it's okay for you to change. But no, it's not going to be pretty because people are not going to recognize you. Because you, you want more for yourself because you finally said enough is enough. The evil one is going to hit you every time and that's you. But to make changes, the voices are going to come. The messengers are going to come daily. To transition into something new, it's, 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 it's not seeing the sun. It's seeing darkness. And in those moments, you will find who you truly are. You know, and, 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 and I want to read something. And, 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 and please know, please know, I'm almost done. But please know, you do not need to believe in the word of God as I'm reading this. But this can be relatable in many ways in many ways. So see it as, as I was reading a motivational section, like I said, motivational section of a great book. And, and that's how I want you to see it. Um, it's in one, in, in 1 John 4. So let me read. I, you know, I want to read this part of it. Test the spirits. And, 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 and stay with me, guys. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whatever they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the spirits of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist which you heard was coming and now is in the world already. And I believe that there's, there's so much greatness in us. And, and if we truly believe that the, 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 the spirit the spirit of the truth, not the spirit in error. And, and it says this here, it says it here, by this we know the spirit of truth and not the spirit of error. And, and I'm going to tell you how, 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 how I read into this. And, and this is how I live my life. By the messengers that come on a daily basis in my life. They're, they're there to try to tear me down. They're there to bring me down. They're there to, to make me lose faith in what I know my sole purpose in life is. But I will not lose sight and God will not lose sight of me. So however you want to see this, however you want to see this, just, just, just know that there are people out there that are going to stop you in your, in, in your moments. They're going to want to pull you out in your transitioning phase. They're going to be saviors. They're going to try to help you. But you must sit there. And, and if someone tries to pull you out, say, I'm not ready to leave yet. See, when people were telling me, I'm so sorry that you've been abused. I'm so sorry you're going. It's like, don't feel sorry for me. Please don't. 
that I can't tell you I feel sorry for myself because I love everything that's ever happened to me because I am a one strong, powerful individual. And, 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 and I'm so sorry and please forgive me for saying this, but sometimes I look at people and I'm like, I feel sorry for you because you know what it is to be loved by a real dad. You know what it is to, to feel safe at night. You know what it is to, 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 to have food on the table, to have a family. You know what it is to have once had your own bed and electricity. And you know what it is to live a good life. I am so thankful I didn't know any of that. I'm so thankful I didn't have a father in my life. I didn't know what, I don't know what it is. I'm so thankful that I was abused mentally and physically. I'm so thankful for the years because God never lost sight of me. And sometimes I look at people, I'm like, please forgive me. Forgive me, Lord, for thinking this way. But I feel sorry for them because they don't know what it is to truly, truly be the child of God. They only know the surface. And I have to ask for forgiveness on that because, because I, I, to me, it's like, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. But, but I can, I do not trust voices and messengers that come my way because the one that's always led my, my path, my way, made clear was God. And there's evil spirits out there and, and they're, they're people, they're, they're your family, they're your friends that are telling you, I can help you, I can save you, let me take you. No, sit there. And, and truly in those moments, you will find the spirit of the truth that's within you. You know, I'm, and, and, I, and, I, and I'm gonna leave you guys with this. I'm gonna leave you guys with this. You, you, you know, discussing my lecture in, in the book of Job, it's like, it's like the devil will come in and take you, you know, in, in believing in what, in what you think is the truth. And those could be the messengers. They can say, let me help you, let me save you, let me, let me, those, those can be the messengers, let me lead you into the truth, let me lead you into this, when, when you should know in your heart, I need to sit here, I need to stay here, I need to find these great lessons, and there's no timing, God has his timing. So many of you are like, oh, I've been here, I've been here too long. Well, well it's taken me 10 years. I've been, I've been searching for God since I was six, six, and I'm 44. And it's just, man, when you find him, when you find your true self, you want more of it because it feels so good. It's so good. And I gotta tell you, so I'm, I'm gonna keep reading this, you know. He come, and, and the devil will come in and out. And, and it says in, in the book of Job, when God asked him, it, it, where'd you come from? And, and the devil says, oh, don't you know? <gasps> I come up and down all over the world. I'm everywhere. The devil doesn't come in horns and, 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 this, and what we see in the movies. They're people. It can be something small. It can be you. You looking in the mirror in your old self. The devil comes in different formats. He's all over the world and up and down. He was in us the day we were born trying to bring us down. That's why it's important that we continue. We continue growing in faith. We continue feeding our kids and, and, and embedding the word of God in our kids. And you, don't have to, and, and you don't have to be a believer, but allow your kids and, and tell them to believe in something greater than themselves because the history, the stories will be piled up in their brains since the day they were born into their 40s, into their 50s, and suddenly they're trapped into a story, into believing that's who they are when there's something even greater than them. That's what I'm saying. Don't believe in God. Don't believe in anything. But... Please help your kids believe in something greater than themselves. Because we're fighting something out there, the demon. We're fighting ourselves on a daily basis with something greater. And, and it takes it's so much pain and shame and embarrassment. But allowing those stories to come out of us, it's like allowing the demons and seeing like, what? Kingdom Christ, IFBB Pro. What? Business? Blowing up? Women events? What? Bible lectures? Wait a minute. You're telling me if I go for my degree, I only have a year and a half to two years? What? Stay tuned. Because I have no idea what's next. And I don't even want to know. Because knowing is pretty scary. But being obedient is a whole new level. I truly want to be a child of God. 
keep reading, I'm almost done. He comes in different forms, sometimes as someone you know or a stranger. The devil is all around us. He's up and down all over the world. And it is said in the book of Job, you don't need to believe, but you need to believe in something, in something more significant, something higher, something larger than yourself, is what I said. Something just, just out there. Let me repeat, I'll forever myself be in transition. The changes have not been easy, nor am I asking them to be easy, ever. As a matter of fact, I ask God to, 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 to make it difficult because I know with difficult, with difficult, I pray, please don't make my life easy. Don't, don't make, I just want you to never lose sight of me and give me the strength that I need for the task you have me on, for the, for the, for the season you have me in. Man, I just, I just ask for your strength. That's all I need. That's, that's all I need. I, 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 I don't want to know. I, I just, just give me the strength for the season I have. Maybe good, maybe bad. I, I don't care. Just don't lose sight of me. That's all I ask. Because I know in, in, in when, in when I'm in that season, something big is coming. I know even AZ asking me to do this since 2017, something big is coming. But, but it's all in God's timing. And I have to step into it. I can't just feel like something's going big happen. I have to go in and, and meditate on the word of God and something great. What do you have for me? So, so I'm obedient to being uncomfortable. I'm obedient to what is next. Because if, because if I told myself, oh, something great is coming. Oh, 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 oh let, me, let, me, let me just sit there and wait for the greatness. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. I tell people in my lectures, God doesn't just come and put money in your account. It doesn't work that way just because you're praying for your bills to get paid. It doesn't work that way. But God will provide the strength you need to understand you have it in you. It's in your heart, the steps that you have to take to become great. I'm going to leave you with this. We know that we are from God and the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. And the reason why, it, it, it says in, in, in 1 John 5, 19, and, and it lies in the power of either one and, and the one, and this is what I got from that. Because we can sit in our thoughts and our emotions and our feelings that are not real. Or we can sit and really listen and hear the beating of our heart where the truth lies. And there you'll find God and you'll find a greater you. Thank you so much for joining me for Mindset Mastery. I totally, I, I've enjoyed this um, and thank you for listening to me with a lot of respect. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. Um, as AZ does at the end, I will, leave, I will read some questions and, and I'll let it be. Um, if you can go to the comments. Um, Isaiah, a forgiving process over and over and over, being in the heat, then battered over and over to only come out more powerful. Exactly, and that's what I'm going to talk about in my lecture um, on Tuesday, destroying. And I don't want to get too, too deep into that, but Isaiah, I know you're, you are always present and up and center, and I appreciate you, my brother, and, and that's what we'll be talking about, and destroying and, and over and over and over and over again. And uh, so, yes, I love you, Isaiah. Thank you. Natasha, surrendering to the obedience to this process. God has been waiting for you to surrender. Um, Thank you, Natasha. I, I know what that means in so many, in so many ways. And I, and I love you, sister. Thank you so much for your support. Um, remember, you and God are always a majority, are always a majority. Find the hidden messages in anything you do. God positioned you to turn that messenger into fuel to fulfill his greater purpose. Thank you, sister. Your vision, your reality is not supposed to make sense to everyone. The mind will shut you down by telling you how you can do that. You're killing it. Thank you, Jermaine. I, I love you, and I, and I love all our, all our spiritual talks. You are such a great man, um, and I thank you for always understanding. And, and it's, it's so funny. I, I, I can talk to so in, in certain individuals, and it's not, it's not Bible-based so much. It's, it's, and that's why it's so powerful when, when I speak to certain individuals because and I tell this to, to, to my non-believers, it's, it's, it's beyond the Bible because, because you can read every single word in, in here. And, and I've, known, I've known people in my family members that have read the Bible 20 times. But, and, and you can read it over and over and over. And you can hold Bible studies and you can hold you know, uh, um, discussions with people. But 
but when it comes from the heart, from the, from the, from the, so deep in the heart, you, you know, when somebody's truly, truly speaking and, and spiritually like, like have, have God in their heart on a different level. And, and I just have so much respect for those people. And, and, um, Jermaine, you're one of them. And I just, I, I, I love you from the bottom of my heart and thank you so much. Um, we connect the dots looking backwards, seeing through so, so true, Ricardo. Um, saying the love, thanks for being you. I thank you so much, Ricardo. I appreciate you so much. Um, and I know you're out there. I know you're watching. I, I, and um, I'm just so glad that you're part of this brokerage. And if you've come and, and you've leaned in, and I, I just appreciate you. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I just, there's some that I, I, I speak to so closely that, that come in my office and, and we talk and, and we're on a different level of, of this conversation. And I just want to let everybody know my doors are always open to everybody. Um, but there are those ones that lean in and, and, um, so, so thank you so much, um, Ricardo, Natasha, Jermaine, I, I, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Leonardo, thank you. Um, Carla, we thank you for your powerful message. Thank you for always being, being at, um, our, like my lectures and that support. Thank you so much. Um, Jesenia, oh, I love you, sister. Love you. The genuine, wonderful, you keep feeding up positive vibes. Know that you are truly appreciated. Patrick, phenomenal person you are. Love you, Patrick. Thank you so much for your daily messages. You always give me such great um, love on your messages, and and you're, you're you have a little piece of my heart, Patrick. Thank you so much. Your your messages always go into my heart on on that fuel that the, I feel like like that love that I need, and that you know just kind of pouring into my heart on a daily basis with your phenomenal texts and uh, Az and I need to hear all that, um, and that's what we're doing, guys. We're 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 just pouring our hearts out, and uh, so many things are coming our way, so many changes, um, but we know that we've built so much support around us and the camaraderie and the love that we have. And we just appreciate every single one of you guys from the bottom of, of, of our hearts. We can't even express it. And people have gone through these doors in and out. Um, and nothing is going to stop us from the growth that AZ and I need, need, need to do within us to just continue pouring greatness into other people. Um, and we just love you all so much. And, and, and for, we truly mean that from the bottom of our heart. May, may you be a part of our lives for, for a short time or for, or for a long period of time. Um, you brought something into, into us that, that we had to see for ourselves or appreciate what we've done. And just, I can say so much. I can say so much, but, but thank you all so much. And AZ will be back on Monday. I'm so glad that he gave me this big responsibility because it was huge and I just couldn't let it go again. He is the most consistent consistent man I know and I'm not saying that because he is my husband and I told this to AZ the other day um, and I said this in my lecture I, I appreciate and love my marriage and I respect it on so many levels but I believe that our marriage is is, is something that's filed away in the state <laughs> and it's dated that we've got married but AZ and I were were born and brought into this world for a bigger purpose and and we'll continue searching for the love of God and, and we'll never get the answers because I'm not seeking for answers. I'm just I'm just seeking to truly be closer to God and, and really, really be, be faithful to him. And I want to be like him. And, and it's just uh, show me, show me the ways. And, and so I'm so glad AZ and I are on the same page on all this. And even if we weren't understand that even your own spouses can be the messenger and just pushing you and pushing you and pushing you and and you must lead with your heart. Um, and they will follow, I promise you. And, and, and that's the path that I was on with AZ. You know, I, I was that messenger and just, you know, digging in and, and it's not possible and it's this and it's that. And, and he kept going in with it with his heart. And I'm so glad and thankful that he, that he followed his heart. And then comes a season where I had to, you know, he was pushing me and pushing me in and I had to push and, and said, no, I'm faithful to my heart. I'm gonna, that's why I asked, I tell AZ and I, and we're on the same page. We do not ask for approval when our heart leads, nothing else matters and we have to support one another. And thank you all so much for your support. AZ will be back. Everyone have a wonderful week. And for those that I see tomorrow, um, it's going to be a great message. Everyone have a wonderful week. And thank you all so much for joining me for Mindset Mastery. Carla Rajo. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Badass Agents Podcast. Brought to you by AZ and Associates and Do The Work Coaching and Consulting. You can watch this and other episodes by subscribing to our channel on YouTube or by visiting us directly at badassagents.com. And of course, you can listen to this episode and many others on your preferred podcast provider.